This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 17, Building an App, Canvas, Painter, Puzzle 14, Redraw Original. Oh, okay. So, uh, I already have stuff here. You should too, right? If yours doesn't have this, you need to go back and do the other parts of this lesson. If you were able to get that working and understand what you did, congratulations. That was some serious programming. I thank you. If not, take a moment to go back and talk through the different components with a classmate. Um, I guess you can't talk through them with me, but you could go talk, listen to me talk through them with you. Does that count? I'm going to keep going. Uh, most of the work we'll be doing for the rest of this lesson uses a similar pa uses similar patterns. And you'll want to be comfortable with them as we add more complexity to our app. Hmm, if there's similar patterns, that sounds like redundancy. And how do we eliminate redundancy in programming? I hope you're saying function. The first thing we are going to do is create an original button that will redraw the image with the same circus circle with the same cir circle radius you used before. The process will be nearly identical to how you added the random button. In fact, the code to redraw the original is exactly the same ex except instead of making the radius of the circle be random, it will just be a fixed value you used originally. Probably 5 or so. Yep. Okay. Oh, and they're just copying and pasting it. Note. The instructions below are shown in the animation above. Oh, and they made an original button. Okay. So... Yep, style button, give it the label original, give it a meaningful ID, an event handler, and inside the event handler for the your original button, copy and paste the code, paste it inside the event handler for the original button, set the radius parameter to whatever value you originally drew it as, test your program, the original drawing should appear, design. What color did they use? I'm, ooh, I'm going to hit control Z to undo which isn't isn't working. So that's But ah, all right. Now button ID. I always include the type with my with my ID, so original button, it's easier to know what it uh, what it is when I'm using that or looking for it to grab the ID to assign it some action. And I'm going to say original. Theirs is a yellowish color, so I'll be unoriginal and kind of make it like theirs. That's not like theirs. I'll say that. And now to get the event handler, I'm just going to click on events, right, with my button. And I can just click insert and show code. But ah, All right. And now, I think I got what we want to do next. We are going to get rid of this, right, the auto council log. And they recommended that we copy and paste. So I will do that. I am going to original. I want to clear the canvas, just like we did before, because I'm going to redraw the whole thing using this iteration through the array. Okay. Here we are. Now, here it is. And uh, event list.length will still work for us. Offset, offset, except no random. We want it to be set to 5. Well, mine's 5. You want it to be set to what your original drawing was. And my original drawing was 5. Okay. So let's uh, test this out. I'm going to draw a very pretty picture. That's not true. I'm going to draw something random to show you. Hey, it almost looks like the word hi. All right, uh, random. Ba da and original. Ba da ba da ba da ba da. So real quick, let's go over what this is doing. Okay, so on click. So when we click our button, this function is called. All right, it clears the canvas just for a split second. We pretty much don't see a blank canvas ever, right? Because it runs so fast. Then we hit our for loop. How many times is our loop going to run? How many times are we going to repeat the code inside? Well, we ask i to be set to 0, 
and then we say i is less than event dot list uh, uh, event event list dot length and that will return the length of our, our event list so maybe we have five events if we just had five dots so this would say five and then we tell it we're going to add one to e to i i plus plus we're going to add one to i each time we loop through we then drop down and for the first time we run circle event list i well what's i right now it's zero well event list zero refers to the zero point of the array event list so that is the first index which would be the first circle we drew um, on the screen and we're going to get its x value right because we're using dot notation we do dot offset because what is stored in event list i or event list zero is going to be the event the event is what is created up here when we draw so inside our canvas uh, area event right when we're drawing it's created using the parameter so when we move the mouse it takes this event and we append it to event list so each event has the x and y value of the mouse what keys were down all of that and all of that information is shoved into the array and then we do a comma and it will add the next one and the next one every circle that is drawn and we use all that information we recall it here we loop through the entire array to recall the info and we redraw it with a radius of five. So we have a beautiful, beautiful beginning of an app drawing thing. Ta-da! All right, let's keep going.